All right. Hey, everyone out there. Happy New Year. And I've brought the jet back up onto the drawing board to continue on making adjustments. And you can see I started over here, the color adjustments, which would be, of course, this is not a good photo reference, but it's something I can work off of. So I took the picture, as I said earlier in the other videos. So all I'm trying to do right now <clears throat> is take, a, there's some overspray on this wing and the wing it was too dark to begin with. So the first thing is I'm gonna lighten this side, this side, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then from there, I will make more adjustments as I go. All right, let's just kind of freehand it in, keeping that out of focus look. Just want to blur. Keep it very I'm kind of pushing it this way to the left. Okay, so what do we got here? I do have to have a little protection here on this this wing. Just to set that off and you can see it's brighter so we'll just come back in here. Again I don't want to make that stencil look so I'm kind of letting it be back and forth. When I take the other color and make an adjustment there you can clean up overspray and kill out any hard hard lines that are there. So I'll push this over to this direction now. This is pretty even here, so I'm just gonna keep it right about there. There we go. Clean up the overspray on the jet's upper wing there. Hopefully you can see. I'll just go. Now we've got the value correct better, you know, but there's things that I still have to work on to dirty it up and that kind of stuff. Okay. Got to remember the tip dry using my Micron uh, side bottle. All right, so let's go up here and get in here real carefully and kind of just using a pump stroke, just to, pump stroke is just the air's on and you're kind of just going like that, pumping it in just to find your spot. And I use it for making dots and things like that. But right now I'm just kind of finding where I am. Like I said, if I go out too far, like into the tree area, it's okay because I'm gonna come back down with the greens and stuff, All right? So there is kind of a, just a little edge. It's not the tree color, it's, if it is the tree color, it's just darker showing the line. It seems to be more in the blue family. I have to put those in and darken some other areas, clean up some other areas, and lighten some areas. So the areas that get lightened would be on up here. Same color I'm going to use, just I'm going to put more white in it. It's a whole nother ammo when you're using stencils, right? Because everything is just spray and it's done and it's over, but it's back and forth with this. I mean, there is a bit of an edge here, so I can kind of take this, hold it off the surface a little and create an edge a little bit. 
like that. And then go back. And like I said, take the, the greens and start to, you know, kill the edge a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more, just a little more of this color in here. This is grayer actually in here, but I just wanna clean it up a little bit. Make a brand new jet, right? Go to the paint shop. <laughs> I see overspray here. No, uh, spidering from the uh, wing color, which is not the right color exactly. Um, as I looked at it, as it sat here in the art room, I started to see values and different things. You know, you put paintings aside and you go and work on other ones. And you start seeing things that you could correct. You know, I don't really want a hard edge here, but I gotta clean that up a little bit. I think um, either tip dry, yeah, these opegs are nasty. So I just go like that and just get a little, make sure that's coming out. Uh, need a little more air pressure on the side. All right. So I'm going to go back in here with more air pressure and I'm going to let actually this more stiff, probably even crystal board, like little stencils that I got playing around. Let me find one here. Okay. So this is stiffer. And I'm going to just come in here and hold it off the surface in different areas. Now I can turn that down. Let's just kind of elevate the shield. It's a freehand shield. And we need a little more air pressure. Just elevate it off the surface so you can kind of get your straighter edge that's blurry down. Like that. That's too sharp, but I'll kill it with, so I should hold it out further like this one. Okay, that's better, that's softer, that's too hard for this picture. You know, it's very distorted, but I do have to put that darker blue in there. All right, so I'm gonna take the same color now. Actually, I'm gonna take another cup and the little solo cups. I already have the color mixed, but I'm gonna put white right into that cup and just add a little color, just so I have a lighter area to work with, but it's not pure white. More color. That probably will do. A little bit of reducer in there. Make this flow. So I'm using 4012 Createx Illustration Paints and Reducer. There. All right, so let me get this thick color out of the gun. I'm just using a Q-tip and I'm going after it. It's very thick. I you know I had it pretty reduced. Um, just gonna put a little reducer in the gun and spray it through into the Iwata air station on the side. Just get that out of there. Okay, the lighter color. Now, if this is too light, I'll, I'll automatically tint over it with the darker blue. But I got, I have to lighten. Uh, it's pretty light, actually. So let's just go in. You can see the black and white picture being a lot of value changes here that I don't have. So I'm just going to turn down the air now. And I'm going to go in. And I'm going to start to lighten the center area. Opegs are funny, it starts to show and then it melts into it. So it still might be not light enough, actually. Let's go around the dome of this cockpit. If I start to lose some of the shape, I can get it back with uh, the trees, like cutting in and around, back and forth. That's pretty light, that's pretty light there. 
Um, this is later in here. And it travels right on over. Don't mind that little overspray going on to some of that to blur it out. Okay, uh, what else do I need to do here? Sometimes your light is light enough and all you need is your dark to be darker. And I think that's the case here. Air dry. Okay. Looks really weird, but then you air dry it and it goes right to where it needs to be. Let's look at it. Okay, I'm liking it a lot more than it was, that's for sure. I'll lighten this up a little more. It does get some shading in there. It, you can see it gets a little, you know, nasty looking in there. Not so much on this side. So, all right, so pretty much, I could take this out a little further here. I'll just do it freehand. know you're close when the color cup hits the painting it can scratch it too very easily so I have to be careful now as far as the sky color breaking through some of these trees up in here a lot of this has been rinse and repeat uh, repairing looking at it trying to mimic it going back later and doing things too. Whoops, that's a that's called a splash, a flood of paint going on there that don't that doesn't belong on there. Now I can't even talk right. Blur that out a little. Air dry it. Knock it back into the thing. This is going to be a darker green anyway. So get rid of that dot there. I mean, the intensity of this dot right here. Let's do that up a little bit. Okay, knock that back. There's going to be some cool out of focus uh, here. I'm just going to put little stay in close and put the sky in, but break it up like it's distorted, heat distortion. Anywhere else? Yeah, right here. So we'll zoom in a little bit on that part. Just pick this area right here. Needs more blue. It needs to be that blue more. But just to give you the idea of how I'm going to go about this. You can actually just do a little chop chop and you get the same blurry effect looking through it. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's... Uh, Okay, let's go to the darker blue now. Are we at time wise? 14 minutes? Okay. I don't even know if this is dark enough because I've been playing around with it for so long tonight, mixing that I might have too light of a color here. Yeah, that's actually lighter than that, so I don't want to kill that area. 
I do want to get in here a little more, so I'll just go in the center. I'll go down here. We'll kill some of that with this color. Okay. Yeah, I was very low on that one, so that's got to be brought up. That worked as far as the blur, but it's too far down on that wing. But the contrast is better. To me, it is. Um, just looking at the... You know, it's cleaned up now. It looks like a nice new paint job, but I have a lot to do to get it to be more... Uh, finished. I did some work on here a little bit. Putting in a little bit more uh, of the brownish colors. Light beige colors on the cement. Okay, uh, I'm thinking the cement's definitely not tar. Okay. I'm just going to take sepia right out of the bottle. A little black probably in it, just, just a little. And I'll use that just to bring up the uh, contrast in the tires and that. So it's, like I said, second coating, going around things. You know, I've got, I've got to still finish around here with the trees to make those look lit up and better. <clears throat> so I need uh, sepia. Boy, I gotta put my fan on there. Swallowing the overspray. Okay, a little bit of that. And a touch of black. So sepia with just one hit of black. Just one drop. Many, many drops of the other, but Reduce it and get this to be pretty reduced. So it flows nice. Okay. Remember this one, the after burner. So we're not we're not happening so I'm adding that in okay so we've got clean up the overspray here whoops what is what is that a little bit of the old color maybe water yeah it's water in the gun I te should te always test on the side you know so as you get this darker in here Kind of have to look at other things. Like I, I was looking at other afterburners on the internet just to see how those flaps or whatever's around the back here look. Having nothing in my photograph to help me. Okay, so this tire has to come down or the other one has to go up. So I'll just add a little bit to this one because I think that will work. And then I'll just go in carefully. that there's a little something sticking out here
Micron's a great brush. Yeah, that helps a lot. Okay. That, and that's again, again, I'm not using any kind of frisket or anything around this because this has to be a little blurry too. So a little shaking here, just a little bit. Whoops, I went too far out that time. But I want, so that'll be a tree color. Okay, um, this is bigger. This little shape here is a little bit bigger. Like that. Just getting closer when you get near things that you don't want to mess up. Pump stroke helps me just kind of get into tight area, a tight area. That's just how I airbrush. I mean, there's a million things. So I'm seeing that this goes, so I'll just kind of put it in and push it out a little bit right in this area darkness okay it's not all the way out the same darkness it's kind of right where I just put it and the other side is the same almost you know and I'll just pull a little bit like that okay Alrighty, so I surely don't want to use that on, I have to mix up the right color for the shadows of all the things that are going on, on the wings, little lines. So I don't have the color mixed right now, so, but let me show you what I will do to make this make sense. So I'll take a post note, I'll find the line Okay, so you can see on here, that line. And I will take a post note and put one, right say that's where the line is. Take the other post note and bring it in real tight, skinny like that, and mist it on. And it will be right where it's supposed to be, but I have to find it. And the way I'll find it is these are, this, yeah, the, now, if that's a smaller version, this is the same size, I think. No, I have to kind of find it myself. All right, so I know, I know that if I come off of here with the pencil mark, I could just kind of make some dots. It's right, it's right there. So it's going to be somewhere in this area like that. Very lightly, I drew it just to give myself a ghost line. Um, right there. Okay, so um, now that I'm zoomed in on it, I'm going to second coat more. Right in here. Make it more solid. is going to be darker but it's more of a green let me just see if i can darken that it's like a blue green so i gotta be careful here i don't have to match it exactly but i just want to see how much darker that is whoops That tree stands out more, but it's got a little more of a blue in it, so I'll have to mix up a color for that. But you can see by just separating that one 
and this one here will be separated. It will be darker, a little pump stroke. Right now, I'm using the wrong color, but I'll just ghost it in and then just add a little color to it. And yeah, so that's bringing this to the right values now. And there'll be a lot of, uh, you know, activity going on of heat distortion just inside the, you know, like reflection will be here. I put a little bit of that in of the tires. So I'm going to do a little bit here. Got to get right under it. And I got to fix that tire. It's a little crooked. Okay, but anyway. Something like that. And then there'll be a line here. And there'll be this one. Broken up. It's kind of just distorted, you know, like that. So then I'll come back this way. And work it across creating more of a look. Okay, I've got a little tip dry. No, not tip dry. Um, I thought I had a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? When the uh, paint's coming out, trailing, trailing. So they're beefier now, and yeah, this one's even, both of these are beefier. I'm surprised I didn't see that before, but that's what happens. Again, freehand, you know, I don't want any kind of stencil. Finish your sentence. Whoops, I got spidering going on there. That should be good. Okay, I just wanted to do a little bit more on this while you guys could watch and get in here and let's see if we can put a little darkness on that boy right there. But not, it's not happening yet. Let's come off of it from here. I'm trying to keep it like a shadow right there. It's a little darker. It's a lot darker, actually. And in there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll be putting shadows on there and you know, getting the uh, this area all so you can see it right now. It's more of a greenish brown. There is a little bit of, I can put a little bit of darkness on this right here just to help show where it is. But the whole thing, the whole thing's gonna be darker anyway, all the way up, but not that color. So at the base it is but it will show it off more, but it's going to be more smoother in this area where you'll, you'll see it. You'll really see it stand out, but it's got to be the right, you know, the right uh, color. So, all right. So I can dirty this up a little bit in here. Remember, remember I told you that that was a little bit of noise, visual eh, right there. Just a little here, just, coming off there like that that's it just I'm not going to get crazy on it I just wanted to show you where I'm at with this one and thanks for looking God bless you guys and I will see you on the next video take care